Kayo Wangalilu. Shut up, Nangada. Hey guys, it's yours truly, Zazara Kohan. Za Kohan. And welcome to the Kingdom of Azaya. Welcome to another video. So, in this video, I want to talk about, well, my name, Zazara, and where it came from, um, and why it's my name. <laughs> because many people have asked me, you know, about my name, like, whoa, that's a different name. Like, you know, I've never heard that before. Or, you know, people even made fun of my name. I'm not going to lie. I mean, just mixed reactions. <laughs> but um, I do love my name. It's a it's a spiritual name, okay? And in this video, I'm going to tell you how I was given this name. So, first off, my my given name is Imran, okay? Um, that's my given name, but I prefer my soul name, my spiritual name, because that is my eternal name. My given name, Imran, will die with my physical body, but my spiritual name will continue on with my soul body, or, or who I am inside. Now, a few years ago, um... I think it was around 2012 or 2013. Um, long story short, um, I was starting to get connected to my soul, okay? Because I had um, hidden my soul from the world for multiple reasons, and I was scared to let her out. So the only person that I felt comfortable with um, speaking about my soul and my very nature um, was a creator or a God, and at that time, God was my, he was my closest friend, my number one friend, my heavenly mother, my heavenly father, um, mother, father, two be two names for the same being is, um, I believe in one God, okay, there is one God, uh, this, this God has a father nature and a mother nature, and this is, um, my beliefs are based on, um, Zion beliefs in spirituality, but that's another video. But at the time, Ahaya or Aya, my uh, heavenly father, um, he was teaching me about my creation, about my body and in my soul, and why um, I was experiencing and feeling the things I was experiencing. You know, basically, he told me, you know, he told me I created your, you know, I created your physical body, Mel. You are, you know, you are a male, but I credit your soul female. Your soul was originally female. It was a feminine spirit, a feminine soul. But for a time, you were um, given a male flesh, a male body. Okay. So by essence, my creation, I am masculine and feminine. I'm male and female, body and soul. But um, so I guess, so... I'll be what you will call transgender, but in reality, like how I see myself, I see myself as, as androgynous, you know, I, I, I feel both. Like I don't feel fully man and I don't feel fully woman. You know, I, I feel like, you know, I feel like my creator, you know, God, cause God is masculine and feminine. So I feel like that's just, you know, my creation. But I'm telling you these things because it leads to um, my name, Zazara. Um, well, let's get started with that story. A few years ago, in 2012-2013, I had a dream. Um, now, before I had this dream, well, actually, actually that very night before I went to sleep, I prayed to my Heavenly Father. I prayed to Him, like, you know, what is my spiritual name? What is my soul name? You know, what is the name that you gave me before you sent me into this physical world? And he told me, I will, he, he told me, I will reveal to you your name. So he put me to sleep that night. And in this dream, I remember I was taken to, um, oh, what's it called? Um, it's not the spiritual archives. Yeah, the, uh, the crystal library. Okay, it's like a celestial spiritual library that contains all the knowledge of the universe. It's basically the mind of the creator. Okay, so the Heavenly Father took me to the crown or, 
or to the crystal library and when i was in this library um the heavenly mother came and she guided me um up these stairs into um it was a room of um it was a room of i don't want to say books it's like they look like books that you know they were like they're almost like glass or crystal um like like spears or like ovals or something or you know it was it's very hard to explain but they look like books but they weren't but it was like an entire library full of them. like the shows went on for eternity but the holy spirit she led me to this podium and this podium had a book of names it was a blue book and she pointed at the book and she told me to approach the podium and she told me to flip through the pages to the back of the book so i went to the back of the book and i began to see all the names that started with z there were mil there, there were so many names male names female names you know unisex names names for animals names for plants names it, it was names for everything and um she grabbed my my wrist and i remember she um she pulled my wrist down each page slowly but surely and then well as i was pointing and then she stopped my hand as i was pointing at one name and that name was zazara it spells z-a-z-z-i-r-a-h and she told me that is the name that is the name i gave your soul when i first created you and that is your name that you will have for all eternity you are my zazara and right beside the name was the meaning of the name, which was unity, oneness, and unification. For she said that I will unify her people. I will bring her people back to their own land. I'm not really sure what she meant by that. But, you know, names are given for purposes. You know what I'm saying? Like, This is is this is why I don't really I believe in the power of names. You know, like yes, we're given our you know our government names and whatnot, but I feel like our spiritual names we all eternally or internally have a soul name or a spiritual name. Okay, and that is the one name that you know our heavenly Father Mother gave, gives us. You know, but throughout our, throughout our lifetimes, you know, we will receive millions and millions and millions of names. But we'll always have our soul name. But yeah, that's how, you know, I got my name Zazara. And Kohan. Kohan is a word of her language that means love, priest, charm. Um, the actual, well, Kohan is more of a root. The actual, the full word is Kohani or Kohana or Kohana. But um, yeah. Is from it, it comes from the spiritual tongue or her tongue or the creator's tongue, okay? That's where Kohan comes from, and Kohan is a spiritual tribe, like a spiritual lineage, okay? And that also has meaning behind it as well. So, yeah, so Zazara Kohan, and Zazara is often shortened to Za, or Za Kohan, so. That's, that's, you know, that's kind of like the name I like to go by a lot of times. Za Kohan, I think it sounds pretty cool. But Za or Zazara, it's the same thing. So, yeah, guys, that's how I got my name. And that's why I have it. You know, I'm destined to unify, to bring people together in love and harmony in some kind of way and fashion. <laughs> I don't really know how, but... You know, my Heavenly Father and Mother, you know, they're going to lead me the right path in that I know. So, yeah. Well, I guess that's it for this video. So, well, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I'll leave it at this video. So... I love you guys, and I hope you have a beautiful night, and 
I'll see you in the next video. I might talk a little bit more about myself and my purpose and why I'm even doing these things, you know, where as I even came from. Because it all started when I was three years old. Three to four years old, that's when I started with Dream Mama, okay, who I learned eventually was the Heavenly Mother because she used to protect me at nights from, like, the shadow people and whatnot. But, yeah, that's all. I'm not going to get too far out there, but um, bye, guys. I love you.